Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic message to start your day. And today I would like to do a deliverance prayer from demonic portals, from demonic gates. Now, the Bible tells us according to Deuteronomy 28, 12, it says, the Lord will open to you his good treasure, the heavens to give the rain to your land in its season and to bless all the work of your hand. And you shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. Precious saints, God can open up the heavens. He can open up the portals of heaven and pour out such blessings. Whenever revival comes and the church learns to pray, we can lock up and arrest those demonic spirits, those principalities over areas when the church comes together to pray. There was a revival in Guatemala where the actual vegetation and the vegetables grew to an enormous size because of the revival that took place. That's right, precious saints. We've got to understand that when revival comes, it can open up the heavens. It can open up portals to good things to come upon the land, to affect the animals, to affect the people, to close down the bars, to close down the the abominations of prostitution and all sorts of things that are taking place today. But we also must understand that the enemy also opens up portals. It opens up portals to the demonic. And according to Revelation 2 verse 13, it says, I know your works and where you dwell, where Satan's throne is, and you hold fast to my name and did not deny my faith, even in the days in which Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was killed among you, where Satan dwells. Let's talk about that now. Precious saints, we are in a spiritual battle right now. And the battle appears to be what? It's over thrones. It's over altars. It's over gates of authority. See, the enemy has occupied thrones or these seats within your cities, within your nations, and the people's souls for thousands of years. Remember, Satan cannot be everywhere. He is limited. And that's why Satan desires to be king and to sit on thrones that give him authority to occupy those places and peoples with his demonic agenda. Now, you've got to understand, he is not omnipresent. He can't be everywhere. He can only be in one place. So even when you're going through deliverance and you're dealing with different principalities, you're dealing with different demons, even if uh, I, I'm doing deliverance, deliverance uh, ministry and maybe uh, a, a demon identifies itself as Lucifer. You're not dealing with Lucifer himself because he can only be in one place at one time. And that is why he has demons that have characteristics. They have different names. That's why the spirit of fear can be in so many people. See, there is there is a demon that has taken on that mission, that characteristic of the spirit of fear. But those fallen angels that came from heaven, they once had their own name. But now that they were deceived by Satan, they are used, they're given these names. So that's one thing that you've got to understand. He desires to be king, but he can't be everywhere. That's why he has to occupy places and people with his demonic agenda. He not only uses his demonic hierarchy, according to Ephesians 6 verse 12, it says, you know, principalities, powers uh, to take their seats of power, but he also uses human agents to serve him upon the earth. And that is why Satan will place those that he chooses within positions of power, even within all levels of government, financial institutions, even religious institutions, and those uh, false ones, even educational institutions, media outlets, big techs, and ever in the medical, in the science field, in the courts, and you name it. Yes, Satan has a very organized, structured system where he is the kingpin of the whole lot. That's why he uses 
these secret societies, these fraternities in your universities, in your colleges, the Illuminati, Freemasons, witchcraft, false prophets, shamanism, voodoo, you name it, whatever it is, he will use. See, witchcraft is the greatest enemy of man. And it is the manipulator power of satanic kingdom. It is the embodiment of satanic cruelty and wickedness. The spirit of witchcraft is an evil spirit assigned and empowered by Satan to manipulate the affairs of mankind. And one of the aims of witchcraft is to make you repeat negative history, not only within your family, but also within your nation, within your cities and so forth. Witchcraft has caused imaginable havocs and tragedies that are just unheard of for so many countless of souls precious saints you've got to understand that they have now they have mixed science with witchcraft now what do you think that they were doing through world war ii with the nazis and everything that was taking place in germany even prior to that they have been doing it these people have been trying to open portals have been trying to open evil they've been trying to mix science with all this different stuff to create and open all sorts of uh portals to demonic things now witches they use incantations hexes vexes you know uji boards uh even for the summoning of demons to try to open portals of darkness now these portals uh in this place uh in many places they are the entry to dark spirits now portals point towards spiritual deposits now into your land affecting it either positively or negatively when you're dealing with an open heaven it's positively when you're dealing with demonic portals through this demonic stuff it is negative so dark portals defile land and this can be determined by the number uh, number and behavior of animals, even the birds, of vegetation in the immediate area, and that portals can produce defiled sounds that can imagine. We even know certain areas where there's hellish sounds, there's certain things that are coming from the woods, from areas that they do this stuff because they open up this portal to as though it's coming from hell itself so whenever witches are operating you will know you will experience this high level of poverty uh, immorality in areas witchcrafts even sell out the wealth of nations uh, and of families and the satanic kingdoms and so forth so witches cause uh, chronic poverty confusion and all this sort of stuff and everything else that goes with it, setbacks and you name it, everything that we'll be doing in our deliverance prayers. But what we're seeing today, precious saints, is we can see the agenda, even taking place in CERN, uh, you know, in the past, in the future, and even what they plan to do, and so forth, in the coming days and so forth. They plan to open up portals. They plan to open when they're mixing science with witchcraft, with pure evil. You've got to understand that all these are cultish, all these people, they worship these deities. They worship these deities going back and they just change names from the Babylonian area to the Roman area to the Greek era to so forth. And then they just change the names of their unholy triune gods and figures and deities that they worship and that they uh, give sacrifice to and so forth. So everything that we're seeing taking place, we need to understand that also as individuals, Did you know that your life is like a garden and you decide who and what is allowed to come into that area? Did you know that you are the sole guardian of the gates of your life? No one can force themselves into your life. Did you know that that, 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 that we are gatekeepers to our own life? You have a responsibility to protect your life from things that would seek to destroy it. So what are those gates? To our personal, they are the eye gates, the ear gates, the mouth gates. Now, when someone tries to open themselves up uh, to their chakras, they are even opening up to these seven gateways of these demonic things trying to come into your life. That's why they emphasize the third eye and so forth to open up these things, to open yourself up to these demonic activity. But 
then there is a level of demonic activity that happens from a corporate level where they try to open up things over cities to cause this dominion, maybe over your neighborhood, maybe over your town and city. And that's why we understand that we are dealing with principality. That's what Ephesians 6 verse 10 says, finally be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Precious saints, we are against a spiritual battle. We must understand how to fight this spiritual battle because we can as a body of Christ, even as I'm doing this recording, there are many people listening in. So as you agree with the prayers, as you agree with the teaching, God brings that multitude together that we can pray and turn things around. And that's why people get delivered from hearing prayers and so forth, because there is agreement. There's a prayer of agreement taking place as you agree and say, amen, God starts to move. Now, how can we change a city? How can we change it? Well, we can get a group of people together. We can start together as families when two or three are gathered in his name he is there in their midst and we can start to repent and we can start to also believe that God will bring deliverance and forgiveness to one another and so forth we can pray and fast and that's why we're always doing the corporate fasting because we want people to come together and to pray and God will show us the areas that we need to pray over so that we can have victory and that's what it was like with many of the revivals before because they learnt how to pray in intercession and warfare and they manage as they pray as they corporately come with a with a small group of people coming together but they had authority over the enemy because there are there are the higher the rank of the spirit we're dealing with the more spiritual power is needed to bind it and that's why we come together in a group of people we come together because we're dealing with territorial spirits we're dealing with these things and we need to understand what we're dealing with warfare prayer is best done in always in groups uh, of highly motivated and spiritual intercessors. So you're becoming intercessors. You're becoming motivated because you're following, you're fasting, you're praying, you're getting equipped, you're understanding what is happening around you. So you've got to ask the Lord, even the names and the nature of the oppressive spirits that are operating, even as we see the CERN stuff taking place, we've got to understand that these people are going back to these deities that have been well known throughout the generations they just change name they may change name in your culture but they are the they are the same thing so we got to understand remember that we got to understand that we're going to believe freedom we're going to believe that god can bring about change that we can see see it brings when we pray and we come together in prayer it brings the land from negative to zero now warfare prayer fasting praise worship and any other such spiritual activity of meeting together in groups are needed to move your land from zero to positive precious saints you can bring your situation from negative to zero you can bring it from zero to positive when you learn to fast and pray and seek God bring deliverance and change to every situation that that you might be facing. So I want to pray right now. I want to come against all the forces of darkness that might be coming against you today. It might be coming against you. It might be coming against what the enemy's agenda is to do. But whatever it is, we've got to understand that God is still in control. He is still sovereign. But we as the church have been given all authority. We now need to exercise that authority. He says, according to his word, he says, whatever you bind on this earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loosen on this earth shall be loosened in heaven. Before he says that, he says, I've given you the key of the kingdom. That is authority. He has given us that authority as the church of Jesus Christ. He says that on this rock I shall build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. We as a church have got to stop putting our head in the sands, stop just overlooking things and not not expose. That's what we are. That's what Ephesians says we need to expose the works of Satan. We need to expose it. We need to expose it so we can pray about it, so we can move forward. We can take the authority over that situation and bring change, precious saints.
We want to bring change so that we can see breakthrough in our areas, but we need to learn to pray. We need to learn to see God move and change our situation. So let us pray now, precious saints, because prayer, when two or three are gathered in His name and anything they ask in agreement, it shall be granted unto them. We're going to pray that whatever plans of the enemy are within this hour, whatever portals of the enemy that are open around our area, in our homes, around our loved ones, over our homes, over our suburbs, over our nations, over the nations of the earth, that God has given His church the authority to pray in agreement and see change in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Your Son, Jesus Christ, we come boldly before Your throne of grace today. And we ask for Your mercy upon our lives and upon upon the nations. Lord, we renounce any oaths taken and any curses that we may have been involved in through our generational line or through anyone listening or anyone in the area with any secret society, with any occult involvement in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We renounce and cut off from ourselves. We cut from ourselves loose right now from every infernal name of Satan, such as Abaddon, Apollyon, Astaroth, Baal, Balaam, Baphomet, Bezebel, Belzebub, Lord, any Belial, any Dagon, any Diablo, any type of Ista, any any type of Kali, Lilith, Loki, Mammon, Mania, Mantis, Moloch, Lord, any Oyama, Pan, Pluto, Shiva, any other name that is described for the name of Satan, we renounce it over our lives and over our family now in the name of Jesus Christ. We renounce all the deep secrets of Satan. We renounce any false triune deities. We renounce those from Babylon. We renounce those of Nimrod and so forth. We renounce those of Egypt, of, of Isis and Horus and so forth. We renounce Shiva. We renounce Krishna also from the Hindu. We renounce Zeus. We renounce Hera and so forth. We renounce Jupiter and Juno and Apollo in the name of Jesus Christ. We renounce you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We renounce all these deities that claim to be the source of light for people that they are worshipping. Lord, we renounce anything that especially those that worship this fire, which is an abomination to you and the drinking of any blood, Lord, from any of these society rites in the name of Jesus, guys. We renounce and repent of any involvement from us, of our loved ones, of those that have had anything to do with zodiac signs, horoscopes, sun worship, any star reading or worship of the sun or the moon or the stars. We renounce and break every effort of tarot card reading, of clairvoyance, any communication with the dead. We cut all ties to any worship through Freemasonry, Druidism, the New Age, any black magic, any witch doctors, any Mormonism cult practices or Hinduism, anything through the occult. We cut off all ties to worship through Islam and we renounce and break every effort of the crescent moon of, 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 of goat worship in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We now bring the fullness of His cross, His death and His blood and His sacrifice, His resurrection, His life and the empty tomb, His authority, His rule and His dominion. And we bring judgment from the throne of Jesus Christ against every foul spirit, witchcraft, black magic and curse right now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, we cover each person that is listening to this prayer with the blood of Jesus Christ. And we ask, Lord, right now for giant warrior angels to surround them to protect each person, to protect their loved ones, to protect their households, to protect their families and their possessions right now in the name of Jesus, guys. And as your war club and weapons of war, we break down, we undam, and we blow up all walls of protection around any witch, around any witch doctor, around any warlocks or wizards or satanists or sorcerers, any evil doctors and the like, and we pray 
that you will bring each one to deep repentance before it is too late and we break the power of all curses all hexes or vexes or spells or charms or fetishes or psychic prayers or witchcraft sorcery magic voodoo or mind control lord mind control be broken today off those that have been in mind control right now in the name of jesus christ we come against every jinx potion bewitchment death, destruction, sickness, pain, torment. Lord, right now, we pray that it would cease right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray that every incantation, every chanting, any hoodoo or crystals or any root works or everything else that is coming against your people right now be broken today in the name of Jesus Christ. We cut and burn right now. Any silver lining, any silver cord right now, any ley lines in the name of Jesus Christ. We bring Jesus Christ crucified on the cross right now. Lord, we thank you that he was placed on a cross. He became a curse for us so that we could be free. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we repent on behalf of ourselves, of our family line, for even shedding any innocent blood through abortion, through any human sacrifice. We renounce and break every effort of witchcraft, symbolism, of anything of the Baphomet right now. We renounce and break the seal of Satan, the pentagram on the forehead and the opening of any psychic third eye in the name of Jesus Christ. We renounce and break off our forehead, the golden triangle and any of its opening of the psychic third eye in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we ask you to cleanse us from every dimension of the third eye and close its psychic entry point today in the name of Jesus guys we ask you to close all psychic entry points in the name of Jesus Christ them we thank you we renounce and smash and break every effort of the twisted horns right now of any demonic activity that has happened on our family lines in the name of Jesus Christ Lord we ask you to disconnect any person listening and those around them from any and all all second heaven entities, principalities, powers, dominions, thrones, rulers right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, that may have gained access to them through any traumatic event, anything that they were initiated into, anything that they may have suffered from in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask you, Lord, to shut down all pathways, all portals and means of access to them for communication or influence over your people today in the name of Jesus Christ. Let all those that are deeply wounded and even those that have suffered trauma Heal their fragmented souls today and restore them back into the perfect design of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Let all those that practice witchcraft find the door sealed and closed by the blood of Jesus Christ. We bind and forbid the entrance of demonic spirits into our life in the name of Jesus Christ. According to your promise in Matthew 18, it says what we bound on earth shall already be bound in heaven. What we loosen ourselves, we loosen right now from all shame, resentment, fear, insecurity and feelings of inferiority that may have come upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray we command right now every demon to go back to the abyss right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind, Lord, right now, every evil spirit. Lord, we take authority over all pathways, portals and means of access, marks or makers or any means of connectivity placed upon any person in their physically or spiritually that are trying to track them or gain access to them for the purpose of torment and we shut them down in the authority given to us in the name of Jesus Christ. We also cancel all assignments of familiar spirits made against anyone listening as a result of any traumatic incident incident within their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. To Lord, we thank you. You know all the enemy's agendas, even those claiming to, in the name of science, open up portals of darkness. Those at CERN, 
those who are planning to open up demonic portals, those that have opened up demonic portals and those claiming to seek dark matter and communication with fallen angels. We pray today that every work they do shall be unsuccessful in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, we command all satanic portals and all types of dark open gateways by any person in the past or in the future to be closed, sealed and rendered powerless in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind up every demonic force that is being planned to be released and come through any of these portals to be hindered and blocked in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you. If there is any gateways within or around our lives today, may they be sealed with the blood of Jesus and fill every void with your Holy Spirit now in the name of Jesus Christ. May every demonic and human plan to bring about harm on mankind be forever dismantled, exposed, closed and sealed them today with the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, we command all types of dark gateways, dismantle them right for good in the name of Jesus Christ. We repent of murder, even in pride, greed, rape, hate, jealousy, pretense, any falseness, any cursing, any lying. Father, on behalf of ourselves and on behalf of our family line, we repent of having any involvement in any acts that showed worship and obedience to Satan and his demons through anything that we have done. Father, forgive us. Forgive us for following the commands of Satan. We pray that you would break every ungodly soul tie to any person in the name of Jesus Christ. We are no longer... Lord, vulnerable or accessible to those demon spirits from today in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind Satan and all of his works and we stand in authority that we have as believers in the name of Jesus Christ and we cast out any spirits that have been residing in or resound our bodies, our dwelling place or those within our loved ones or even within our cities. We command all confusion to leave and we call back all parts that have been scattered or fragmented to come back into the perfect design of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Satan, you are not our husband and you are not our master. We renounce you. We divorce you. We want nothing to do with you ever. We reject your seed and your lies. We reject and refuse and renounce and divorce all unclean demonic spirits of adversity, including any spirits of lust, pornography, anything right now, anything that's tried to come against us. We come against any astro projection, any spirit travel, anything, any troubling spirits, any spirits of double-mindedness, unbelief, Lord, anything of rage, anger, bitterness, unforgiveness, witchcraft, lust, and so forth, familiar spirits, pride, rebellion, and death, and we rebuke you and command you to go back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. Cleanse our eye gates with the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, we repent of anything that our eyes have listened to that was ungodly. We renounce all rebellion and unclean spirits that we may have opened ourselves up to receive. Lord, we take Take back all legal ground that the enemy had and we give it now back to Jesus Christ. Cleanse our ear gates with the blood of Jesus Christ. We bind those spirits and command them to leave now in the name of Jesus Christ. Anoint our eyes and ears to receive from you. Fill us with a fresh touch of your Holy Spirit today. To Father, today we renounce and rebuke every evil spirit associated with Freemasonry, witchcraft, the new age, the occult, and all other sins and iniquities. We bind and cast out those spirits of witchcraft, the occult, mysticism, mythology, Buddhism, Hinduism, evil birds, kundalini, serpentine spirits, and idol worship. We come against that spirit of baphomet and every satanic witchcraft spirit. We come against you today in the name of Jesus Christ. We command them now to go back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray right now. We loose ourselves now. We loose ourselves to pray, Holy Spirit, that you would have your way within our lives. We pray that the Word of God would lead us, Lord, as a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Lord, I pray for each person you would renew their minds. We thank you for the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit. We bind and cast out all spirits of fear, anxiety, 
panic attacks, hypertension, worry and doubt. Lord, in the name of Jesus, from each person right now, we put the blood of Jesus against all those at the root at which they came in. We close those doors now and seal them with the blood of Jesus Christ and send them right now back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, right now, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for what you are doing right now. As we take authority, we renounce even any any person that has partaken of yoga. Lord, we pray and renounce any seven chakra planes of consciousness. Lord, we renounce it today. We renounce any participation in any and every form of serpent worship, including chakras, kundalini, yoga, and any third eye opening. Lord, we seal the crown of the head with the blood of Jesus Christ and close every gate. We seal the forehead behind the eyes right now of the third oil with the blood of Jesus Christ and close every gate. We seal the throat with the blood of Jesus and close every gate. We seal the heart right now with the blood of Jesus Christ and close the gate. We seal the navel with the blood of Jesus Christ and close every gate. We seal the sex organs with the blood of Jesus and close every gate. We seal every part of each person with the blood of Jesus Christ right now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name and the authority of Jesus Christ, we break off every curse of Freemasonry or or other lodges or other fraternities and secret societies. We break them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them be broken. Let them be broken. Let them be broken and every connection and their efforts on any person today in the name of Jesus Christ. We remove ourselves, our family and anyone listening from every demonic influence that has sabotaged our process in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray today we humbly ask for the blood of Jesus, your Son and our Saviour, to cleanse us from all sin today. Wash us, fill us today, heal your people, deliver them today in the name of Jesus Christ. Come and touch your people, come and fill them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, you are a good God and you have good plans for each person that is here today. Come and touch them, fill them today. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and believe. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this prayer today, we encourage you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can follow us on Rumble, Facebook or Instagram. Congratulations to all those that completed the four-day prayer and fasting. Now, you may have joined other fasts before. Maybe you didn't even join this because, you know, with the title, Jesus Coming Back Soon, it didn't interest you. But let me tell you, for those people that did participate, you invested into the best fasting program because you are preparing yourself for His imminent coming. Wherever He chooses to come, He will come and snatch His bride. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom. Shalom.